Hi everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shane. Thank you so much for joining me for today's soap banking video. A little while ago, in fact quite some time ago, Michelle from Mosaic Garden Soap Works sent me some extruder discs to use in my big boy extruder that I got from off of iDream in Soap. And she sent them to me after I'd seen some soaps that she'd made on and put up on her Instagram channel and they had a turtle and a seahorse in them. And she generously sent me these discs so I could make a soap. Now, they have been sitting there for quite some time because so much happened last year with moving into the shop and everything like that. I just never had time to use them. Well, if you caught last or the previous video to this one, I mentioned that I'd got some fragrance oils which were all named after places from around the world. And this one we're gonna use today is Bora Bora. And whenever I think of Bora Bora, I re remember the first time I saw it on a TV documentary series with that beautiful crystal clear water that has that sort of sea green color to it and beautiful white sands and turtles floating through it. And I just thought this soap was gonna be perfect to use this turtle disc that she has sent to me. So that's what we're gonna go and do today. Now, Michelle does also have some of these discs available on her website. So if you are interested in what extruder discs that she has, I'll leave links to her website down below so you can go and check them out. But for now, let's go and see how I make my Bora Bora soap with my little sea turtle in it. Let's go. if we can do this soap without making any silly mistakes. I am having a soaping marathon. If you just caught my um, sea salt and orchid soap, you'll know that I forgot to turn the camera on while doing my in-beds. We will try not to do that this time, I promise. I'm just pouring my lye water into my soap oils. I'm gonna give it a mix, and then I'm gonna start off by doing the bottom layer of this soap first. Okay, so because I am gonna do this in kind of two bits of layers here, I'm not gonna mix that too much. Into this junk, I have got my sort of magic concoction of colors to get a sand color. I've got a bit of grandeur mica, there's a bit of vintage rose in there and some titanium dioxide. They're really odd colors to mix together, but I somehow always manage to get a really nice sort of sand color when I do it. Um, I'm gonna pour just a bit of that back into the container there because I don't wanna um, not have enough for the top. Let's pop this in here and mix that color together. You can see I get that really nice sand color just from mixing a sort of gold and a pink and a white together. All right, into here I'm going to put my fragrance now and I have got Bora Bora type which I got from off of the fragrance garden and it has got notes of orange, lemon zest, cilantro, there's some orange blossom, clementine, white lily and there's also a bit of vanilla bean in there as well so I suspect this will discolor just a little bit but hopefully not too much. Right, just giving that a bit more of a stick blend because I want to um, create a bottom layer in this soap so we're going to have that a little bit thicker than I normally would. I'm going to grab our mould here and pour this in. Mm. 
Well, I've got a whole heap that actually didn't mix in very well, so what I might do is just make a bit of a mess, scoop that out, and we'll create a little bit of a, a swirl with our sand colour here. While that is setting up, let's split out for these colours here. And I'm just going to grab that jug back as well. I'm going to pour a little bit off for some extra white. And then into these pots, let's move this one down here. In here I have some aquamarine. So I'm going to pour, these ones are going to kind of split off as e evenly as I can. In this one, I have a little bit of sea mist. And in this one, I have a little bit more sea mist. So literally one's only got half a spoon and the other has got a whole spoon just to try and get two different tones of that same color. I'm gonna finish splitting this off and get those um, colors all mixed in. So I'm not going to put the fragrance oil into the white. The website does say that it has zero vanillin, but it is quite a dark fragrance oil. So it might not have um, vanillin as such in it, but it may have that other vanillin, ET vanillin, which a lot of them don't declare on the sites. And it is saying on the site at the moment that it's untested, which means they haven't tried it in soap making. And sometimes when they, on this particular site, when they say that it's not suitable for soap making, it just means that it discolors or it rices or something. It doesn't mean to say that it's actually not body safe. And this particular one actually says untested. So they've not done any of their own tests. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna discolor, but I've just got a feeling it might. Um, it feels like it may thicken up quite quickly. So I'm gonna have to get these mixed in. Then we'll go and grab our base and start pouring and hope we actually do have enough time. That one actually feels a lot more fluid. That must be because I put titanium dioxide in that one. Make sure this time I've got all that color up from the bottom. I'm gonna actually do one of my favorite pours that I haven't done for a while. Gonna grab my big bucket here and I'm just gonna randomly start pouring these back into my pot here. worry about scraping the rest of that out in a moment what I am going to do is grab my spoon just give that a bit of a play in the bottom just to make it look like some textured sand mind you whenever you do look at pictures of Bora Bora it's got beautiful flat bottom sand beds that are as white as white as anything so probably shouldn't really be making it a lumpy bumpy sand bed but <laughs> too late we've started and it's going to be too hard to get it nice and smooth and flat again. So let's get that done. All right, so that is in. I'm going to start pouring this over the top. Hopefully I don't need my spatula. It is starting to thicken up. Oh, we got some beautiful swells there. All right, I'm going to stop there because I haven't forgotten my ink bed. Uh, uh. All right, so this here is my embed. And I showed the disc at the start of the, um, of the video. I have put this one through the Big Boy Extruder, which I have had from off of iDream in soap. 
and it extruded beautifully did need an awful lot of soap dough to get it to go I'm gonna put that in right I have I was just double checking hopefully all the um, soap will fill in oh all the gaps let's get that out the way I'm pushing it down trying to make sure I'm not going too far down into that sand but also far enough down that it's not going to sit too high let's get the rest of this poured in now when I actually did my oils I didn't take any off to account for that um, that bit of soap dough that goes in there so we should get a beautiful high top on this soap that look like a wave going over but this is one of those fragrance oils that it looks like it's actually thickening up on you and then the minute you touch it with a spoon or a spatula or something it loosens back up so every time I try to get that wave to go over it just turned back to liquid so <laughs> that's all good though at least it's in the mold it all has gone well I've just given that a really good dusting with some blizzard mica to give it a really nice shine and then just going to finish it off with a bit of holographic bio biodegradable glitter Ugh, that's a mouthful today and that is it it is very plain very simple at this point but we're going to leave it sit here overnight we'll be back in just a moment we'll cut it open and we'll see what we've got on the inside okay we are ready to cut into bora bora and i am loving the side of that soap there it's looking really good it's come up the exact colors that i wanted it to Whenever you bring up those photos of Bora Bora, it's always got that real um, sea green colour to the water and never those sort of deep dark blues that you associate with sort of reefy areas. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with the colour. I'm just hoping that my little turtle inside is going to stand up against the colour. Now just to make sure I get the turtles on both sides of all of my soaps, I am going to cut this one so that I only end up with 17 bars and we'll end up with a few sample pieces and boy that's got hard that must be where my soap dough embed is and thunk let's take a look I am so excited to cut this one open and I've also been wanting to send Michelle a picture so she can see all oh, that I finally used it and there it is that is absolutely gorgeous I love how that has come up just so so pretty love the colors in that turtle as well that is the other side so whenever I do my sort of soap dough extrusions like this and I've got a shape on the inside that's just a little bit too hard to get too much detail in I usually smoosh together several colors of soap dough so it gives them just that little bit more sort of texture because whenever you look at the turtles they've got all sorts of shades of brown and green through them so i had i think there were three different shades of green and two different shades of brown and it's just given him such a beautiful coloring love how the sand has come up in there remember i didn't um, mix all my mica in properly and then i um chopstick swirled that spare color through the bottom i love those sort of swirls that it's put in the bottom but it is definitely what you would see if you were looking at pictures of Bora Bora on the computer and if you've been lucky enough to be there um, you get that beautiful white sand on the bottom and then that blue well it's not blue it's that greeny colored water oh he's got a 
a big green patch on his back on that one but I am so pleased with how this turned out. The extruder disc was just so easy to use as well. If you go and check out the Mosaic Garden Soap um, website, I'll leave links down below. She does have a few different extruder discs there. And this, um, the turtle is there along with a seahorse. It's a, a little set that she sent through to me. But I'm just so, I absolutely love that little turtle. It looks like he's pushing up off that sand like he's been down there feeding. Oh, I like the colors. Oh, actually I like the colors on the next one even more. Look at that. So I hope you've enjoyed watching how I made the Bora Bora soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And if you're interested to see when this one becomes available or any changes that may happen to this soap while it is curing, come along and follow me over on Instagram and I'll post pictures of this one once it's finished its cure and is available on the website. So until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I will see you then. Bye.